but initially something completely different. How pleasant would it be if all of your foreign friends would also watch RTL Z News? A technical marvel makes it possible, colleague Anne Lynn believes then the proof of the pudding. Watching TV could change significantly in the years to come. And that is because of artificial intelligence. As a result, programs can be dubbed almost perfectly in every language. Foreign programs can be translated into Dutch with just one click of a button. Yes, I will discuss it further with Vincent Evers, a friend from Friend Watcher. Vincent, what have we just watched? Yes, we have now looked at Hagen, and that is a tool that everyone can actually use. You put a video there, you say, I want to speak Chinese, Mandarin, I want French, English, and he immediately makes it. He also does lip sync. It's just AI that understands what you're saying, translates it immediately, and moves your lips accurately based on artificial intelligence technology. And with that, you can simply start speaking in all languages. And that's applicable to podcasts, video programs, and all possible ways. Can you simply exist in all languages, Frederick? Yes, it is truly a little bit magical. There are also videos circulating on social media of Trump speaking Dutch language unexpectedly and surprisingly. What impact will this have on television viewing? Artificial intelligence is a significant force in all aspects. On one hand, it can indeed mean instant subtitling, while other translations are also feasible. It can also ensure that you can immediately obtain all the additional information with a programmatic solution. Then I start searching the internet for more information about what you're telling. Well, that can be given automatically. You can also personalize it. That you say, I'm very interested, give me all programs related to this and this and this. And then from those hundreds of channels. And online events can then be extracted at some point, which I find interesting. Then make a video. Also participate in programs. Also easily add interactivity. Record, engage, and enhance your content. You can find the content you like yourself. You can translate that content in the way you find interesting. And you have a greater variety and things you like. And that is the broader impact of AI on watching television. It offers more options and enhances the TV viewing experience. And when we discuss this language tool, I will simply refer to it as that. Now we have recorded this piece in advance with Anne Lynn. And then it had to go through that tool and then it takes a few hours. That's why I wasn't visible either. So that takes some time. But you actually think that in a few years you turn on the TV and then you're in your Italian hotel and then you press Dutch and then you see the Italian news in Dutch. Yes, I produced a handful of videos and the task of translating them required a time frame of around five to ten minutes for each video. So it really won't take long before that can go live. That you can simply translate live TV and that you can see not only the subtitles but also what the speaker has to do at a given moment. That is the first and easiest, that you speak in all languages. After that you have conversations with each other and then you have two or three people who also have to do that. Well, that takes a little longer then. But those are actually techniques that are fairly simple and relatively easy. And I don't know if that's the first most important form we're going to use. Because I think there is still a lot more to happen with watching TV and AI. However, it is something that appears to have a magical quality. All right. The reason why Dutch individuals typically have a good command of English is also due to the fact that we frequently watch American television series or movies with subtitles. And not dubbed like Germans frequently do, is it possibly also a little bit of a shame if we are able to watch everything dubbed in the near future? Or is it just a matter of personal preference? Yes, we actually are. We absolutely hate it when it's separated. Can't stand it if we become Germans. I think that also applies to Spanish when I listen. I much prefer listening to Spanish with subtitles. I think it'll be culturally determined for a long time. Germans don't want to. Culture remains simple for a very long period. Only the technology, the production costs and the speed, those are no longer problems. In this day and age, the subtitles for every video you watch on YouTube are added in just a matter of minutes. Then you can also opt for subtitles in other languages. Eventually, another choice is added. Do you only want her to speak it as well? So that it will not take two or three additional years before it is simply accessible everywhere. All right, thanks.